Okay, here we have the foos, <laughs> the foos, the first boot of Jane's new computer. This is the Dell Optiplex 7090 small form factor that we just got in the mail today. We got in the UPS and it is not powered up. It's hooked to the monitor. The monitor is turned on, keyboard and everything is plugged in. So, we have to plug in the power for the first time. There's the end of the power. So we'll plug it in. Looks like it's booting by itself. Nope, just powered up, indicating I'm connected. Now we'll actually turn it on the first time. Oh, booting into Windows. It's got the little Windows dots. Just, just a moment. Okay, so what do we got here? Selected ang uh, language is English, yes. Region is the United States, yes. Keyboard is a US keyboard, yes. Do I want a second keyboard? Skip. Now we have some important setup to do. Mm. Our disk light is flashing as it continues to boot. Please don't turn it off because it's probably building some files into Windows 10, which is the operating system of this computer. Still th setting things up. Thanks for your patience, it says. Doing the network. It is plugged into the network and the keyboard and mouse by USB, although it came with a wireless keyboard. Jane has taken that on her other computer right now. It'll eventually end up on this one. We're still working. Okay, keep working. Your computer will restart before you continue. Okay, restart away. Just a moment. Okay, restarting. to the Dell logo. This is the first startup out of the box. Okay, the license agreement, we have to accept that. This is the Windows 10. Accept your license agreement. Set up for personal use or an organization. Personal use. Next. Let's add your account. Um, let's see if, you know, this is where you can put in your Microsoft account information, but I'd like to just make a local account. So one of the options down here is offline account. I'm going to click that and see what happens. 
Uh, okay. Signing with the full range of Microsoft apps. That's if you sign in, but I don't need that right now. Next, let's add your account. Offline account. Okay, it looks like I'm in a loop here. So I'm gonna have to put in my Microsoft account and do that, I need both hands, so I'm putting the camera down for a second. And I gotta put in my password, that requires two hands. Why do they make you do this Microsoft stuff? I don't understand. They want to lock you in in the beginning. We can eventually kill off this account, create a pin. Yeah, I already have a pin. Okay, then we go to choose the privacy settings. Let Windows request your location. No. Send us diagnostic data about websites you visit. No. Let Microsoft use your diagnostic data, in, in excluding information about websites you browse, to offer personalized tips and ads. No. Find my device. Well, it's going to be in my house. This isn't a portable device, so no. Inking and typing. Send optional diagnostic data to Microsoft. No. Advertising ID. Apps can use advertising ID to provide more personalized ads. I don't think so. So I accept all these six no's. Let's customize your experience here. For, I'm just going to skip this. Use your Android phone. No, thank you. I don't have an Android phone. Back up your files with OneDrive. I'm going to say I'm only going to save the files on this PC. Access granted. We get a free trial of Microsoft 365. Well, since I'm going to be installing Office Professional Plus 2019, I'm going to decline this kind offer to pay Microsoft some more money. So decline. Let Cortana help you. I don't like Cortana, so I'm saying not now. Support and protection. Mm, this is new. Neil Allen region. Configure your support protection and communication preferences. Uh, I gotta tell them I'm in the USA. Whoops. United States. Okay. And they got my email address. And now I'm going to, my information is correct. It's registering a security subscription. To receive a subscription, expiration email reminders, and a digital subscription key card to protect multiple devices. I've never heard of this before. Okay, we'll have to investigate that later, but meanwhile, next. Now let's see what's new from Windows. This has taken almost 10 minutes, nine and a half minutes so far. Let's see what's new from Windows. Eventually, maybe we will. Maybe it's doing last minute updates to the operating system. I don't know. It's hard to tell. The drive is uh, not a lot of that. 
activity. Every now and then there's something clicking in there. This one's nice. It's got a Type A uh, USB on the front and a Type C high speed and then two USB 2.0 as well as the uh, headphones. The headphone jack. So we're still grinding to see what's new from Windows. I'm just hoping that we see the desktop eventually. Okay, we recommend Windows 11 for your device. And I'm going to decline the upgrade for right now. Uh, eventually we'll get it later. This machine is certainly capable of Windows 11, but I don't want to surprise Jane too bad with her what her machine looks like so we're declining it not sure about Windows 11 it's seamless they say it's familiar it's try it without worry skip for now we can always go get it later okay so Windows 10 hi okay this is sort of the familiar we're getting the desktop ready and uh, hopefully we'll see the desktop in, in a few seconds. It's been 11, uh, 12 minutes now since we started this process. <clears throat> this machine has 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte NVMe hard drive in it. It's a solid state drive connected to the PCIe bus. And this particular model has a space for a second one inside the box, which is nice in case you want to add another drive later, you can add another NVMe drive, which is really slick. Once they come down in cost, you could put one in. All right. Oh, well, how about that? Where, where did they get the seep, set the church logo? I don't know where that came from. Holy cow. Oh, maybe it came from my Microsoft account. Which dis device did I plug in? I put in uh, speakers. Yeah. Do not ask me again. It's not allowing me to answer. Small, medium, large. I have no idea what what this is about. Which device? I didn't plug in any device. It was plugged in. There's speakers in the monitor. Okay, so we're just gonna. But it looks like it can optimize them. I, it's not. It's a small speaker. Okay, how's that? <laughs> okay. And now here we are at the, finally at the Windows desktop after 14 minutes of booting and selecting options for the operating system. We'll take it from here uh, with more changes.